Hey YouTube world, what's going on? Mark here from TST Industries and I am back in the garage and in today's video I will be guiding you through the installation of the Womatech mirror block offs and our TST Industries mirror delete dummy plug. Now these installation processes are pretty straightforward. We will be installing two different sets of products. However, I do just want to outline what each of them does. Now the Womatech mirror delete kits and mirror block off kits I should say are a simple mirror block off kit, CNC machined aluminum, anodized black, and they will cover up the holes left behind from re removing your OEM mirrors. However, if you do that, you will notice that you will receive a warning lamp on the dash, and that is where our TST Industries mirror delete dummy plug comes into play. Similar to our license plate delete dummy plug, our little plug and play modules will allow you to remove your front turn signals, in this case, the mirrors, and prevent any warning lamps from appearing on the dash. So if you remove your mirrors and don't necessarily want to install the Womatech block off kits, you will still want to purchase the mirror delete dummy plugs or if you plan on using another brand's mirror block off kits. However, I should mention, there is a setting in the BMW by default that allows you to prevent any warning lamps from appearing relating to your lighting equipment. I do not recommend enabling that setting unless you are riding on the track where lighting equipment is useless. If you enable that setting and go out for a ride in a normal situation on the road and you happen to experience a failure or a fault with one of your lights, either the front, the rear, or the license plate light, you will not receive a warning lamp not, and that will not notify you that something is wrong. So in order to still receive that notification that a lighting equipment may have failed or something is wrong, we highly recommend purchasing our delete dummy plugs as they will still enable the warning lamp should they, should they fail or the tail lights or your license plate light fails, they will still show that, that, that warning lamp on the dash. Now these installation processes are very straightforward. You need a T25 Torx bit, a 10 millimeter box wrench or ratchet, and then a five millimeter hex key or Allen key. So let's go ahead and jump right in and begin this installation process. Now to begin this installation process, I highly suggest starting by removing your OEM windscreen or if you have an aftermarket windscreen. That will require the T25 Torx bit. Now it is important to note when we first got this bike in and began working on it, I noticed that these bolts seem to be reversed. So I have switched them. I don't know if that is the actual case, but the upper bolts that were originally located towards the bottom here have clear or opaque plastic washers on them. I feel as if they should have been installed from the factory on the uppermost portion uh, placements as that will be a paint protectant of sorts. If they are not installed there, you will have marks left behind from the OEM bolts. With that said, as you remove any of these bolts, please ensure that if there are plastic washers on the bolts, that they do come off with the bolts. Now, as you remove this windscreen, the upper portion goes down while the lower portion comes up. There are two well nuts located on the bottom portion of this windscreen. As you see, I am wearing some gloves that is to prevent my fingerprints or any grease or oil to contaminate this windscreen. If it does contaminate the backside, you will have an issue cleaning it unless you clean it beforehand. So just some preventative care. But as you remove this windscreen, these well nuts will either deform and get stuck in their placeholders or you can try and massage them out carefully. I like to try and massage them out just so that you don't have to worry about reinserting them later on. But a nice tidbit of information is lift up gently from the bottom, put your thumbs over the well nuts and simply wiggle them around. The windscreen came loose with the upper well nuts you can see the lower ones have remained in their placeholders and we just have to wiggle them out a little bit. Now with the windscreen removed, we have access to this front cowl. This is a piece that is mounted in two positions. 
We have friction fasteners right here that just press in. And then we have a lower uh, T-style mounting bracket located towards the bottom. What you need to do is gently pry up from the top, and I mean very, very gently. And as you do so, slide down towards the front of the bike following this angle of the front screen. This is the piece that I'm talking about. If this breaks, you will not be able to interfere with this locking feature and it will flap around. So keep that in mind. This, place is, this piece is about 50 bucks from BMW. Save yourself some money by being careful. You could see the friction fastener mounting points located right there. Now with the front cowl removed, we have clear and visible access to the OEM BMW mirror connectors. You can see the two of them located right here. In order to disconnect them, it is pretty straightforward. There's a small tab here. I will pry up gently using one hand and with the other hand, I will pull upward and disconnect it. It is much easier. If you do have fat fingers or you're wearing gloves like I am, it is a little bit easier by using a tool. Same logic will be applied. You will gently pry up on the tab and then gently pull on the wire, removing the connector from the bike side harness. Now at this point with that disconnected, if you were to turn your bike on, you will notice and receive those warning lamps. This is where our TST Industries BMW mirror delete dummy plugs come into play. As you can see here, OEM styled BMW connectors, plug and play, ready to go straight out of the box, no modifications needed. So let's go ahead and insert one. Now it is a little bit of a steep angle. You wanna try and prevent uh, bending this connector excessively and you will simply insert it and slide down all the way, ensuring that the locking tab located on the connector here interlocks with the hole on the BMW bike side harness connector. Again, we will simply insert it and press down fully, ensuring that the connector is seated. You can give it a nice little tug. It's locked in place. And if we turn the bike on, the warning light has gone away or will not appear. Whether you signal or not, the warning lamp is now cleared. So now we leave these two connectors tossed to the side and we will hop on over to the rider angled position on this bike and remove the OEM mirrors. Now, focusing on the OEM mirrors, we are going to remove the two nuts located on the back side of the windscreen or the front side if you're oriented as you were riding the bike. We have two nuts located here. They do have captive washers on them. This will require a 10 millimeter box wrench, open-ended wrench, or a ratchet. Please be careful as you are removing these nuts, you do not want to hit your dash or any other important components that can cause damage. Now that we have this almost fully removed, let's go ahead to the bottom nut located right below it. This is in a little bit of a tighter spot. So again, please be careful as you are removing this. With both of those nuts almost fully removed, we can now finalize this by hand by simply unscrewing the nuts. And please be careful when you remove these nuts. If they fall and they fall into one of these crevices, you will have a really fun time removing all of your fairings, trying to find where this nut fell. Please ask me how I know. Now, they are both removed. We can gently pry up on the mirror from the front side, windscreen side of the bike. And then we're gonna be very careful in routing this connector, ensuring it's not getting snagged on anything. And voila, your mirror is now removed. With your Womatech mirror block off kits in your hands, let's go ahead and identify which side goes on which mirror. Now looking at them, you may be inclined to think that 
the one with the Womatech logo on the top and the flat side on the right would go on the left side of the bike. But as you mount it, you will immediately see that is not the case. You will have overlap onto the windscreen and you will have gaps towards the bottom. And if you go to flip it and have the Womatech logo on the bottom, you will have a gap on the bottom. These are intended to fit with the Womatech logo at the top and the shorter side closest to the windscreen. Like so, it follows a little bit of the angles on this front fairing, really cleans it up, and the longer flat side follows this angle on the front fairing as well. So let's go ahead and identify that before we begin this installation process. I should also mention that out of the box, Womatech does provide bolts and washers, but those bolts are a little too long and are meant for installation on the previous model. If you have purchased this kit from us, you will know that we do include an extra set of bolts. They are of a shorter length. So when you go to install this kit, you will need to remove the washers from the Womatech bolts and install them on the shorter length bolts. Now with all that in mind, let's go ahead and install the bolts. With the mirror block off installed, you can go ahead and grab your bolt and the washer and begin slowly inserting the bolt. You do not want to fully bottom it out just yet. Install both bolts. And you can see this is a very, very tight space. Please keep that in mind as you are working on this. There you go. Now with our tool in hand, a ratchet is preferred. We can bring this hardware to full tightness. Now we will repeat all of these steps on the opposite side. Now with all of these components already installed, we can begin the reassembly process beginning with this front upper cowl. Now it is important to note, as I mentioned, during the disassembly process, there's a small tab here that interfaces with this cutout on the front fascia. So please be aware that the cowl should slide in an upward motion and these posts located on the top will be right in position as long as the tab on the bottom has interfaced and interlocked correctly. Now we can grab our windscreen and it is important to note on this that we want to slide under the upper portion first and with it resting there if the well nuts did get removed you can press them into the windscreen at this time like so, and we're going to press them into the mounting positions located on that front fascia as well. That's good. Let's grab the bolts without the plastic washers and very, very carefully thread them in, ensuring you're not cross threading. You can bottom them out then grab the upper bolts with the washers. And now we're just going to take a small tool. Once it starts feeling tight or you see the well nut beginning to flare, you can stop. And just like that, this installation is now complete. And there you have it. We were able to take the OEM mirrors, remove them, install the Womatech mirror block off kit and our TST mirror delete dummy plug, therefore preventing any warning lamps from appearing on the dash. Now, as you can see, we did shave some weight. I think this is a much more aggressive look 
We're able to toss these to the side now, not worry about them. And if you are the type of rider who would prefer different mirrors, maybe some bar end mirrors on this model, you now have a solution that cleans up the bike and also prevents those warning lamps. So if you wanna check either of these products out or any other product we have for the 2023 BMW S1000RR, be sure to stop by our website, tstindustries.com. The link to this kit can be found in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment field below. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with all the new and exciting videos we've got coming out. And lastly, don't forget to stop by our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all username TST Industries. For now, this has been Mark in the TST Garage, and we'll catch you all next time. Ha <laughs> ha!